when it comes to getting noticed on youtube your thumbnail is everything yeah because it's the first thing viewers get to see and it's what determine whether they're going to click on the video or not that is why in today's video we're going to be diving into the world of thumbnail design using cap cuts and i'm going to be showing you how to create stunning thumbnails that will make your video stand out from the crowd yes don't play one of the biggest challenges creators face when designing thumbnail is being able to stand in a crowded market with so many videos competing for attention like if you come down and check out do you know how many people upload video in a day on youtube here with eye-catching thumbnails it can be so tough to make yours stand out another challenge is conveying the message effectively so now the question is how do we overcome these challenges relax because that is what we're going to be discussing in today's video and mind you when it comes to designing a successful thumbnail there are few essential things you have to consider number one is color theory yes there's no two ways about it colors can evoke emotions convey messages and even influence your viewers behavior yes and the next is typography which is knowing the right font size and style and this can also make your thumbnail stand out and finally we have the imagery mind you the image you choose for your thumbnail have to be eye catchy relevant and high quality so without wasting much of our time let's dive in because i'm going to upload a screen record on how to do this so let's dive into the tutorial so i'm gonna be taking us through on how i create my thumbnail first of all get the picture you want to use ready so what we're going to do now is to remove background so all you need to do is go to your search type remove.bg that remove dot background and it's going to bring this stuff for you click on it and you'll be requested to upload the image you want to use why am I doing this is because I don't like my background. I want it to be a plain background. I want a white background. That is why I'm doing all this work. But if I want to leave it on my normal background, there's no need for all this. Like, I want to use the background of my house. I won't be needing all this stress. So it actually takes time to download. Maybe it's because of my network. Sometimes it's faster than this, but today the network is just so slow okay when you click on it this is how it's going to appear so it's your duty now to click on this background this plus sign. so when you click on this plus sign it's going to bring you to different backgrounds just wait it's going to show yes it has shown now it's going to bring you to different backgrounds so let's go through some of them this one is actually fine almost all the background here are nice they're fine but yes i also love this one i wanted to use this one but the um thumbnail that i'm looking sorry the thumbnail that i'm looking for for this particular video that i want to upload i don't need all this i just need a very plain background so after checking it all i don't really need it so i'm going to use my own personal background yes you can always take background picture of what you want to be using for a thumbnail i have black and i have white not all that pure white but yes this is the background picture that i have in my phone for a very long time if, if you check all my videos thumbnails you see it's same thing that i use so all you need to do is to click on it and it's going to appear this way so this is how i want my background picture to be like i'm going to still tell you why i had to use that picture like we are coming there so guys when you click on this download and it downloads to your phone fine because i clicked on mine i went to my gallery to check if the picture is there sorry i clicked on youtube <laughs> so I, I went to my photos to check if the, the picture didn't appear that means it didn't save i'm always having this issue so what i do as a smart girl i am i just click on download hd so once it shows download HD, click on view and simply take a screenshot. It's as simple as that. Don't kill yourself 
waiting for you to download just take a screenshot crop it and it's going to save to your phone then you can No, da. You want to do? So, but if you click on save and it's all saved, fine, it's still doing it. So after that, you're not going to enter Capcom to your Facebook Capcom app. That background that I made here, yeah, that background that I saved in my phone, that is what you are going to go and look for and make it work. You can see all that background picture in my phone. You know what I'm So what you do is you click on access new phone. dot com yes so we're going to bring in the picture this picture you can shift it to the end you can shift it you can let it be in the middle you can let it be this side anywhere at all but for the tutorial i want to be doing today i want it to be in the middle because i want to display some stuff at the right and still display some pictures at the left that is why i left it in the middle so now let us go to writing so the heading of my thumbnail for today is how to create youtube thumbnail yes that's what i'm going to be talking about so when you click on edit it's going to bring out the inbox for you to write so after writing you have templates you have fonts you have styles you have effects you have animation so just play around with anyone that best suits you you have rebook you have system you have elegance you have gotham you have italic so i think i prefer rubric so after doing that i click on styles i choose whatever font i want then i come here effect this effect is going to make your writing pop up there are lots and lots of effects you have trending you have basic you have luminance you have multicolor you have yellow just play with it the one that best suits you the one you will love to use for your video just click on it so i think i prefer this one then when i click on this i think it's better i adjust i reduce the size and i place it here yes this is where i want it to be so you, you can decide to correct if there is any mistake then after that i want to now type um, youtube because i'm trying to create um a thumbnail on how to create YouTube thumbnail yes so this YouTube I'm, I'm trying to change the font is there any need for changing the font no there's no need there's no need I still leave it in Rubik so I'm, I'm going to effect I don't want to use the same color I want to use um I think color blue would be perfect yes you can decide to use red just play along and why choosing color let it not be too shouty just color that somebody will see and the person will as in colors that one can be able to see clearly please so we're done with that now for the thumbnail so this is the thumbnail i love the font so i just need to change the effects no need for style it's okay i love it the way it is so for effects i'm going to click on red you know you have multicolor yellow red blue green pink so when you click on red your thumbnail becomes like this that if you want to adjust you want to adjust the size size you can do it just watch the video very well and you'll be able to get it very very well so i have adjusted the size to to the amount that i want yes you can go back to always re-edict take the writings up so here yeah, i'm trying to give space between the how to create and the youtube because it was jam-packed initially so after that i actually want to drop some pictures at the is it left or right hand side <laughs> so i i actually want to talk more about the topic yes since i'm talking about how to create youtube thumbnail yes i want people to know oh it's by using cap code so i don't need to write the cap codes there so i just open my google type cap codes 
CapCut icon and I take a screenshot. So I bring it in. So to, to do that, just click on overlay. It will take you to your pictures and you paste it. So I need this YouTube icon, yes, to just to <laughs> to define my thumbnail more and make it beautiful. So I just type YouTube icon on Google, then I take a screenshot, save it to my phone, click on overlay and it's going to the YouTube um, icon is going to come up and you adjust it to where you like. So after that, at the other side of my video, I want it to be more defined. So since I'm talking about how to create YouTube thumbnail, I want to drop examples of thumbnails that I have in the past. So dropping examples of thumbnails I, I have in the past, all I, I just need to do is to click on um to click on overlay and it's going to take me directly to my photos and i just select the thumbnail so this part is not really necessary well you can as well apply it to maybe any video you're doing actually this is my first time ever of doing this so that is to tell you that the more you edit the more you upload the more you learn new things okay so i think i have uploaded two already this is the last one so anyone that sees this my thumbnail definitely the person will want to click on it because i've given examples of how good looking my thumbnail is so whoever coming across this post will definitely want to click on this video to watch yes because i didn't just only type how to create youtube thumbnail i dropped cap codes which everyone can assess easily and i also dropped examples of how good looking my thumbnails are if you guys don't know youtube usually tell me how cute my thumbnails are yes um, i think every week they pick out one thumbnail and they tell me they actually love this one so for this week they are going to tell me the one they love i think on sunday so when you are done if you feel like you want to adjust the picture just click on the overlay Select any of the picture you want to adjust. Is it the main picture? That is my picture. Or is it the examples of um, um, thumbnails that I have there? You can always select and either you reduce or you increase it. So I want to add um, subscribe. Yes. I want to add subscribe. So I'm just going to click on sticker. Then I search. Most of them are um, pro. Anyone you see pro, please don't click on it unless you have money to pay cap code. So just look for the one that doesn't have pro. Yes, yeah, so I just want the thumbnail to still look more beautiful or more spicy. I always do this on my thumbnail. So it just to tell you that please, you should subscribe. Uh, Biko, subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? So that is the reason why I drop that stuff there. But it's not always necessary. I just do it. It's not that other people do it. So after that, what else do we need to do? What else? What else do we need to do? So just go through. Make sure your spellings are correct. Make sure everything up are in order. Make sure... Yes, this is me trying to see if maybe I reduce the picture. If it's going to be beautiful or... I just leave the picture the way it is this is me checking out my work yes so after that click on export so when you click on export it's going to save ASAP you know we did it more like in a video form I think I forgot to say it earlier just click on new project and it's going to show you that so let's go to my gallery because the video has been saved already to my gallery so once you get to your gallery just take screenshots yes take screenshots let's do it again okay the video is playing now just take screenshots yes when you take screenshots um edit it yes cut it or oh, what is the right english <laughs> just shall cut it and save it yes so go back to the picture to see how it is and okay this is the, the okay just get rid of the video so you won't make a mistake and this is a beautiful thumbnail 
KK, this is our cute thumbnail. Now, I'm going to show you how to upload it on YouTube. Yes, don't worry. I'm going to show you how you're going to upload it on YouTube. Rate our thumbnail now. Isn't it cute? I did it. Don't play. So, this is YouTube. Once you click on upload, that's no. Once you click on the arrow to upload your video, it's, it's going to ask you for thumbnail and you just have to put it select your country and click on upload <laughs> yes but you know this is a tutorial i can't upload that so i, I just have to go in back. conclusion of everything being said in today's tutorial designing a stunning thumbnail is all about understanding your audience choosing the right element design and using the right software as you can see in today's video and tutorial we are making use of normal mobile phone yes a mobile phone and bring it all together remember your thumbnail is the first impression your viewers get to see before even clicking on your video so thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment with your own thumbnail opinion see you all in my next video